Colbert. I'm a teaching artist for Metau Arts, a nonprofit arts organization in TWISP. Today we'll be doing a lesson on color as time of day. For this lesson, you will need a pencil, your watercolor paint set and brush, a tray of water, a paper towel or napkin, and a piece of paper. To start with, we'll look at two pieces of art that show how color can be used to tell what time of day it is in artwork. Great, so the two paintings we'll be looking at today are by Chinami Nakajima, who's a Japanese artist. He was born in 1945, and since then he's worked as an artist and an art professor in Tokyo. The first painting is called Weeping Cherry at Kozenji Temple. If you look at it, you'll see it has this beautiful golden background and pale rosy petals on the cherry tree. If you look down at the bottom under the tree, you'll see a bright green sliver of grass. So these kind of bright but soft colors make me think that it's during the day, so it's not a nighttime scene, and maybe it's morning because of the softer colors involved. So you can see how he used color in this painting to show what time of day it might be. The next painting we'll look at by him is called Miharu Takizakura Spring Night. If you'll see in this painting, he uses this beautiful blue background and silver white blossoms on the cherry tree. The tree trunk is a dark blue as well. When you compare it to the first painting with the golden background and pale rosy petals, you'll see that it's clear that it's not the same time of day, even though the subject matter is the same, being a cherry tree. This painting, Spring Night, as you can tell from the title also, is a nighttime or evening scene of the cherry tree. and uses lots of cool colors to convey that. Today we'll be making a little comic strip like this one that shows the progression of time throughout a day using color and pictures, of course. <laughs> We're going to start by dividing our piece of paper into six equal squares that will be our comic boxes. So if your paper is a different shape than mine, that's fine. We just want to divide it um, into equal parts. And like if, let's say you had like kind of a long skinny one, you might just divide it into three and then use a second piece for your uh, other three boxes. So if your paper is kind of a standard paper size like mine, we'll start by drawing a line with our pencil, hot dog style, down the middle of the page. And then we're going to draw three vertical lines, so lines going the other direction. Uh, uh, sorry, two vertical lines, dividing the page into thirds. So if you look at your page lengthwise, you want to envision it divided into three equal parts like that. So I'll draw a line here, and a line here. And you can see mine isn't perfect, but that's okay. So there's that. So we're going to be um, starting by drawing the figures or the pictures in our comic strip. So we'll draw, we'll kind of read the comic strip left to right like you would a book. So start at the top corner, that'll be our square number one, two, three, four, five, six. And so we're going to start in very, very early morning with our little stick figure friend. So we can start by drawing our stick figure friend asleep. So here's the bed, and I'll draw a little pillow. And then you can just draw a little stick figure lying down asleep on the bed. So this is going to be our earliest scene, and it's very early morning, probably like 3 or 4 in the morning before the sun comes up. So his arms are kind of relaxed, and I'm going to draw eyes closed and maybe just smiling in their sleep. And then just because the wall looks a little blank behind them, I might draw a window to let some light in. Okay, and there's our square number one. 
So a stick figure person asleep on the bed. Now if you want to add more detail into your drawings, that's um, totally fine and you can do that too. I'm going to stick with the simple stick person for now. But feel free to pause the video and add more detail if you want. So our square number two, we're going to have maybe six around sunrise, let's say. So depending on the time of year, maybe six or seven in the morning. And our stick figure person is just going to be waking up. So I'm going to draw the bed again. I can make it look just like the one in this in our square one. And draw the pillow. And then I'm going to draw my stick figure sitting on the side of the bed. So maybe the legs kind of just coming off the bed. Oops. <laughs> Knees don't bend that direction. Okay. And then maybe I'll draw the arms up in a kind of yawn. And eyes closed again. I'm going to draw the mouth open for yawning. So something like that. Just to show that your person's kind of waking up, getting out of bed. And I'll just put the window behind the person again. So we have very early morning, person asleep. The alarm clock just woke, went off in this one, so the person's waking up and doing a nice morning stretch. Our third box is going to be middle of the day. So think about like noon, so lunchtime. Um, and so you can draw your person, I'm going to draw my person running, but you could draw your person skiing, whatever you want them to be doing that day. So what does a person do during the middle of the day? And my person's going for a run. And they're going to be smiling. And their eyes are going to be open now because they're fully awake. And I'm gonna, I might draw the sun, a full, big full sun here, just to show also that it's the middle of the day. The sun is high in the sky. All right. So our next box, box number four, is going to be afternoon. So kind of late afternoon, maybe the time that you would normally get home from school or get home from ski team or whatever else you do after school. Um, but we want it to still be light out in this picture. This will be like as the sun is going to set soon. So I'm just going to draw kind of the edge of a house. So there's the roof and the house. And then maybe I'll draw my person just going in the door. So they're just getting home from their day's activities. So there's my house and the door. And then I'll just draw my person here, smiling again. It's a very happy person. And they're just going to be walking in the door, getting home for the day. Something like that. Right. Our next box, we're going to have um, after sunset, but it's not totally dark yet. So it's that time of night where if you go outside, you can still see things, but the sun is not up. Okay, so generally, I'm eating dinner around this time. So I'm going to draw my stick figure eating dinner. So maybe I'll draw just a very simple chair, which you can draw like an L, and then just add some legs. Something like that. And I'll draw my person. There's the legs. And it, person's back. Person's head. Eyes are open. And maybe mouth is open too because my person's eating. And then I'll just draw some arms with a fork or a spoon. Going to a big bowl of pasta. So they're eating dinner. And you can put a little table in if you want your bowl to be sitting on something. Great. So now we're on to our last box. And this box is going to be nighttime, like deep nighttime. Um, probably when you're asleep or going to bed. So I'm going to go back and draw our same bedroom like we have in our first two scenes. So there's the bed, and here's the pillow. 
And I'm going to draw my person. Actually, I might draw my person reading because I always read a little bit in bed before I fall asleep. So there's lying down. And I'll just draw them holding a little book. And they're smiling again because they like reading before they fall asleep. And they're nice and cozy in bed. And I'll put our window in again. And there we've taken our stick figure person through a full day of activities. Great, so now that we have our pictures laid out in our comic squares, we're going to add some color to it using watercolor. So if you need more time to finish your pictures or go back and add more detail to any of your pictures, feel free to do that now before we add the watercolor. Okay. So if you're ready, we're going to go on with the watercolor. So for our early morning scene, I don't know if any of you have ever woken up super early, but I find that the light is often this kind of gray color. Um, it's like it's not that dark, dark black of night, but it's this kind of softer gray tones on the world. So I'm going to start by mixing up a gray color using my primary colors. So I'll just move my paint tray here so you can see what I'm mixing. So I'm going to get, do you remember our primary colors are blue, red, and yellow. So I'm going to put some blue on my palette. Okay, and then put some red out. And then I'll put some yellow. So to make gray, I'm going to mix a little of all three together. So I'm going to mix it into the blue. Um, just because I think I, the, I kind of want a gray blue, so I'm going to use more blue than the other colors. So there we have kind of purpley, and then we'll add the yellow in. And you can kind of see if yours looks too uh, brown, then you can add a little bit more blue. And if it looks too blue, then add a little bit more red and yellow. So you can kind of just Play around until you find a gray color that you like. So I like that. And this, go ahead and do an, a wash across that whole box. So I'm just going to paint it pretty evenly across my whole box. Number one, as our person lies in bed in the very early morning. They're happy because they have a couple more hours to sleep still. Okay, and that gray color kind of makes it feel like that really early morning. Everything's quiet and still, and our person's asleep. All right, so our next square, we're going to make, so this is going to be at sunrise. So sunrise, I often find, is really rosy colored, kind of this nice warm rose, rose color. So you can put some red on your palette, and if you mix in more water to your red, then that'll make it more of a pink and less of a red. And if your red looks too purpley, then you can add a bit of yellow. And if it looks too orange, you can add a bit of blue. So that way you can find a color that you like. So I'm just going to use this red color. You know, if I wanted it a little bit more orangey, I'd just add a little bit of yellow. And, and that might be too much and have a color a little bit like that. So kind of a rosy orange, red, pink. The light is just kind of creeping over the hills and coming onto the world as our person wakes up. And just be careful um, at the edges. Just, you know, it's okay, like if you if you let your watercolor bleed over too much, your two colors will bleed together. But if you just are somewhat careful to draw along the line, then it should be fine. 
And if, it's okay if they bleed a bit too. All right, our third frame is the middle of the day. So I always think of the middle of the day as really bright colors, especially when the sun's out. So I'm going to use yellow. I think I'm going to just use a pretty, pretty much just plain yellow like that. And if it's too bright, you can add a little bit more water to make it a little bit thinner. And so, you know, of course, the world isn't actually just a solid color, right, at the different times of day. But this, using a solid color like this, um, kind of like in the paintings that we looked at for the background, can be a really great way of showing time of day. All right, so there's our middle of the day. Our next square, we have sun's about to set, so evening, um, well, late afternoon, I should say, not quite evening yet. Um, so I'm going to mix up some orange for that one. So I'm going to use yellow and then add a little bit of red. Mix up a nice, like, golden color. That's what I always think of evening as golden. Something like that, maybe a little bit more red. Yeah, nice golden color. Think about sunsets. That really pretty sunset light that, you know, if you're outside and the sun's setting, it kind of has that beautiful golden color on the hills or on your face or everything around you. And our person's just getting home from their day in our afternoon picture here, bathed in golden sunset. All right. Second to last frame here, we have our person eating dinner, spaghetti dinner. And so this is going to be evening. So you can go outside and you can see, see still, but the sun is not up. So I always think of this time of day as a really blue type of time of day. So maybe like a pale Maybe a gray blue, but like I think of it as more blue than our early morning one. So I'm going to mix some blue and then add a little bit, just a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow to make it a little bit more gray than not just totally blue. And I might add more water to make it a pale, a little bit paler color. So something like that. You can experiment and see what feels, what color feels like evening to you. And in the winter, in these short days, evenings at about 4 o'clock, I think. <laughs> so, but in the summer, evenings much, much later when the sun sets. Okay, so there's our evening. Nice blue feel. Not quite dark yet. Nice time to go out for a walk. Okay, so our final frame is going to be Nighttime, nighttime. So our person's in bed. It's going to be totally dark out. Maybe the stars and the moon are out. Um, so for this, I'm going to mix up a really dark blue. So I'm going to use a lot of paint and less water, and that will help make it a little bit of a darker color, richer color. And I'm going to start with blue, and then I'm going to add some red to make a purple. And then I might add just a little bit of yellow just to get that really darkness coming in. So turn it from like a purple into a, a really dark, dark blue. I'm going to use that. So it's really fun to be able to experiment with how color can help tell a story. So like in these pictures, we're telling a story with our pictures and what the person's doing, but the color is really what makes it feel like the time of day has changed in these pictures.
And so there we have our full day of our stick figure. So early morning and waking up, going through our day, coming home, eating dinner and going to bed. And we've told that using lines with our stick figures and drawings and then also with color. And the color really enriches the storytelling in this comic strip. I hope you enjoyed drawing with me today and learning about how color can be used to tell time and time of day. So thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next week.